Hello my beautiful, it's Tawana Michelle here with Live Beautifully Natural and I do videos on beauty, handbags, and lifestyle. And today, this is a beauty video. I have some goodies from a beauty supply store here in Houston. And I love this beauty supply store, y'all. They have everything in there. So I'm gonna show y'all what I picked up and let you know the name of this beauty supply store. It's called Coco Bella. It's here in Houston, on the west side of Houston, on Highway 6 and Westheimer. So if you're in Houston, then you're familiar with that area. If I can pull up their Instagram, I will, and I will link that um, just so you can check them out. So this is the bag that I got, and I got a ton of stuff here. Um, I spent way more money than I wanted to. Don't we always do that when we go into the beauty spot store? So literally I spent like $75. That's not too bad though, not too bad. I spent under $100. But this is the kicker though. I literally went in there to pick up like two things. And girl, look at my receipt. This is my receipt. And I went there to pick up two things. And I got a lot of things. So I got all kinds of things. Uh, oh, Y'all, I forgot what I had. I have got to start with this beautiful pouch here. Check out this pouch. It's gold with some pink lips and it's got this little confetti in there. You can shake it up and see how gorgeous it is. And look on the gold pouch, it, it has like the pinks and the green kind of iridescent colors. Um, it has the little wristlet strap here. I just think this is so gorgeous. Um, this was $6.99. I thought absolutely beautiful for $6.99. And I think, um, one of the things that I'm going to do with this, I think I'm going to use this um, for a makeup bag. I think I can also use this for a pencil bag. And I also think I can use this just as a wristlet when I want to run some errands um, and just put some stuff in here. It's just kind of a hole, but you could throw a card case in there and your phone and whatever you want and use it because I thought this was like really super cute. I bought lots of different things, so I'm gonna go go in with the non hair stuff. Um, I did pick up these Kiss nails. I thought they were so freaking cute. They are like pink with the shimmer on there. Um, I don't know the color, but anyway, it says medium. Y'all never knew these nails came in a size. You see, it says medium at the top. I have small nail beds, so I'm gonna have to look for small. 28 nails are in here with glue included. Anyway, it's cute. I don't remember how much I paid for this. I could go down the receipt, y'all, but I don't feel like doing all that. It was, I guess, about seven, eight dollars. And then, oh, I picked up some cute jewelry here that I'm gonna show y'all next. It's so cute. Sorry, I'm making. Oh, I forgot I had these. Uh, look at these cute little. Earrings, I gotta open this package for y'all to see this. Oh my gosh, they are so freaking cute. These were $1.99, and I wish I had opened this because hubby and I went on a weekend getaway and I would have worn these. Y'all, look at the cute little butterflies with the blinged out butterfly in the middle, the little diamond-like thing up here. And this is what it looks like in the back. Oh, I can't wait to wear these. They are so gorgeous. They are beautiful. And then I have some more earrings, $1.99. These are also some blinged out butterflies. So yeah, I was really feeling like butterf the blood butterfly look. Huh? Um, I guess I might as well just go ahead and open them since I'll be opening them anyway. I didn't realize I had such cute earrings from this place. So yeah, that's how they look. It's, they was looking all kind of crazy in the package. Y'all, check these out. These were actually $8.99, which is a little more pricey. And these are some little Chanel dupe earrings. Y'all, tell me these are not absolutely gorgeous. They're so cute. And you see at the top it says Coco Bella. And that's where they came from. I think they're amazing. And then I got these earrings for $1.99. These are some silver beaded hoops. So let me open that up and show you. They are so cute. I love them. Check these out, y'all. So cute. 
I like to wear silver, especially uh, I'm wearing gold today, but I think silver and pink just go so good together. I am wearing this kind of beige color top, so I went with silver, but often when I wear just pink, I will pair silver with it because I just think that color combination just goes well together. And then I have um, Hubby just wanted to get some Carmex. In fact, he was like, where's my Carmex that I picked up from the beauty supply store? And I was like, I haven't done my haul yet. Wait till I do my haul. Y'all y'all know what it's like. And then I picked up this um, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. One of my favorite deep conditioners. So I'll be using that. And y'all, I found a new line by Cream of Nature. And I'm going to talk about this. I got four of the products from the new line. If you've watched any of my other videos, you may have heard me talk about how, as a kid, my mom always used Cream of Nature products in my hair. And I'd still love them today. They're not expensive, you know, they're not pricey, but to me, they're quality products. My hair likes them. I've, I've always, my hair, I guess, is familiar with it because I've been using it since I was a kid. I do use other products, but I just, I, I love their products. So this is the Cream of Nature Aloe and Black Castor Oil um, line that I have. And then I have the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line. So I got, uh, yeah, I got two different lines here. Let me start with the one that I have only one thing from. So this is the Cream of Nature Aloe and Black Castor Oil Anti-Breakage Overnight Treatment. It looks like this. Now it says this is for weak breakage prone or damaged hair, which my hair is really neither of those. But apparently um, you put, this has a lot of different oils in it. And look, if you have a nighttime hair routine, I hope you do. Um, I have a morning hair routine and I have a nighttime hair routine. And my nighttime hair routine consists of putting moisture in my hair so that it can really soak in overnight. And, um, I use like olive oil, but I wanted to try something different. Um, let me see if I can tell you what this has in it. This is not just natural oils. Um, it has a lot of ingredients in here, but some of the oils that are mentioned are olive oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, aloe, but this also has alcohol in it, um, glycerin, shea butter, so lot leaf juice, lots of different stuff, y'all. Lots of ingredients here. I don't know if you can see all that, but normally I don't really go for products that have lots of ingredients, but like I said, this line has just done wonders for my hair. So I'm gonna try this um, as a overnight treatment. But I was more excited about this Cream of Nature Pure Honey line. So this is the Moisture Replenish and Strength Hair Mask. So I will also use this as a deep conditioner. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've used the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line because I'm interested in um, trying this. I will do a product review on this after I put this in my hair. And y'all, I was super excited about this one. This is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Not Away Leave-In Detangler. So I always detangle my hair with a conditioner. I'm always looking for a good leave-in. This one has pure honey rich coconut oil and creamy shea butter. And the ingredients list does have all of that with some other stuff, of course. But I thought it was so cute. It's like in this milk bottle looking thing. I don't know, it looks cute. Let me open it up and smell it so I can tell y'all what it smells like. Mmm, it smells really good too. It's not too sweet. I thought it was going to be super sweet because of that pure honey, but it's not. And then the last thing here that I'm going to talk about, this is the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Hair Food Smoothing and Frizz Control Curl Defining Cream. Y'all, I'm super excited about trying this because I love a curl defining cream. Now, if you have watched any of my hair videos, you may have heard me talk about how much I love a one product wash and go and how I tend to stay away from gels in my wash and goes. Gels dry out my hair, make my hair tangle up too much, too many fairy knots, can't do it. I do it sometimes, but I try to avoid it. But a curl defining cream is really my go-to for my hair. Um, so I'm gonna do a review with these three products with the leave-in condition, the hair mask, which will be the deep conditioner, 
um, the detangler and then I'm going to style it with the curl defining cream. So be on the lookout for that. And that is it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're in the Houston area area <laughs> and if you've ever been to Coco Bella and what you picked up. Also, just let me know what some of your favorite products are from the beauty supply store and like this channel. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Check out some of my other videos. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, girl, what are you waiting on? I love to have you be a part of this community. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.